Thank you. Hi, everyone. Good afternoon. Let's start our session with three mindful breathings. First breathing, take note of your mental state. Breathing out, let go of all thoughts that are not necessary. Second breathing, take note of your body state, your physical state. You breathe out, you take note of what you want to let go of. And third breathing, take note of your heart, how it beats, and then breathing out, connect with the ground. Welcome to Proof of Meditation. Oh, just a second. You can enjoy some more mindful breathings while we get the slides up. Okay, perfect. We are here to advance United Nations sustainability goals. Number three, which is good health and well-being. And we focus on mental health, not only because we think mental health is super important, but also because it's a very lucrative market. Five billion US dollar markets, 20% compounded annual growth rates. Our vision with proof of meditation, Rose? Uh, yeah, we think um, inner work is valuable, valuable work. And meditation, meditation is definitely uh, inner work. Um, so there are tons of studies su suggesting that uh, if you meditate regularly um, over a long period of time, um, yeah, it has positive effects on emotional uh, um, processing and um, it reduces stress and anxiety. And so we want to incentivize people to meditate more and this is, Lena tells us how it works. Okay, so we are talking about proof of meditation and the proof would basically be that you are wearing a Fitbit and um, when you start the meditation you start our app and when, when you stop it we like take this data from this period of time and then map it onto this 24 uh, times 24 unique NFT which would be then your a heart print. This what you're seeing is the print of your heartbeat for your meditation. Cool. Um, yeah. And what it actually like it actually represents like the different heart rates, like if you're higher or lower. And um, yeah, so you can actually really observe how over the time of the meditation your heartbeat goes down. And yeah, so that's actually really amazing. And. Um, so that's the video of our app, but I guess we don't have time. Yeah? Ah, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Um, so what I was talking about, like you press start and stop, and then you get like mini this NFT, right? And in the end, you will have a list of your own heart rate NFTs. Um, yeah. And so far, the business model. Yeah. What else? We, oh, yeah. So what else we want to do is we want to have cohort-based meditations of like uh, 21 days, and each uh, at each start of the cohort, people decide on um, how long they want to meditate. For example, per day 10 minutes, and then they stake their meditation with tokens. And so if you meditate. Um, if you succeed and reach your goal every day, everything is good. And if you don't, then the tokens go into a pool, which will then, after the 21 days, will be distributed between the, yeah, the successful meditators that uh, yeah, reach their meditation goal. Yeah, okay. Uh, this is our Twitter and this is our first NFT. Okay, cool. So, we're done. And we are open for questions. How could you ensure the integrity of the data coming from the Fitbit? I'm, I'm sorry. I how, ca how can you ensure the integrity of the data coming from the Fitbit? You're asking for how to check for the integrity of the data. Like, could could that be gained? Like, could that data be gained? I mean, of course. I mean, it's work too, right? And um, what we were thinking as option would be to um, that we would store the authentication token somehow in the smart contract and then um, you don't get the token after the meditation but like at the end of the day 
and we have our own validators who then have to verify this data against um, and these validators are chosen like in a DAO of like people who already like leveled up and after a few, three, a few months and decided to keep the money, like the reward money, um, inside of the pool and stake it. Very cool, thank you.